hello everyone it is good to be back it is sunday just needed a little time away to you know get myself back in check and of course to just get my health under control so i just want to say thank you for those of you who wish me well and also for those of you who continue to have watched my videos i do appreciate that and i am hoping to be back um you know, uh, perhaps it's going to still be the same once a week, but, you know, um, I will just post as I have the ability to do so. So without further ado, um, I wanted to share with you some um, layered stencils that I had. Now, I used to see, you know, the more seasoned card makers using those, and I, I was so fascinated by it that I thought that, you know, let me go ahead and try those because those are really nice. I got those, actually, ordered those from Temu, if um, any of you know that app. Um, you know, there's so much stuff you can get on there for crafting and card making. So this is where I got um, a few of those and I wanted to share with you. Now, I also want to say this. If you are wanting to experiment or use layered stenciling there is an art of doing it now um after i went through and did it on my own without paying an attention to certain things this is what i ended up with the first time now i don't know what that is but it looks like a bunch of confusion i just passed out laughing and i'm asking myself oh my lord what is this what was i supposed to be doing anyway I looked a little closer and what I found was on the bottom here, I don't know if you can see it, these are where the numbers for each one was situated. So I didn't see this and I just thought, oh, I'll have a go at it. But be mindful if you're doing layered stenciling, it may have, you know, numbers on them. So based on the numbers, you go ahead and, um, you know, position them. And with this one, it also has like the little... um like the little guide on the top and the bottom so that you can actually, you know, position your paper between those two lines, you know, like this. Um, if you can see the two lines, yeah, you can position. And um, pretty much once you get everything positioned nicely, it should work. So once I did that, then I came up with this. So this was what I was supposed to have as opposed to this see the difference so um that is one and i also wanted to share with you some other ones that i was um playing around with i'll just put this aside for now i also got this here this one i'm not sure what it is but it's you know the backing it looks okay um, I was just trying it. It's, it's very light, so you have to, you know, of, by all means, tape it on. And I kind of did this, um, like did the two sides with, the, you know, two different colors. Um, and then just did the happy birthday and I used the um, heat embossing for that one. And um, this here, I think I used a stamp. Yeah, a stamp that just had these X and O's on there. Um and of course, yeah, this is just, again, just playing around with that. I also had this one, leaves, which I found, which was really, really pretty. The only thing with that one is I did have a challenge because not all of them have the numbers on them. So I, I couldn't figure out how to turn them, which one was first, which one was last, you know. So I did struggle with that a little bit. But after I, you know tried and tried and turned it around then of course um this was the end result so that's another one these are really pretty you know if you just want um you know some leaves i also had this one which is like kind of like a bird like two birds you know in between branches and stuff i got i did these two that's this one which is just choosing a section that i wanted with a bird versus the whole one let me see yeah i think it's this one yeah versus the whole you know stencil it just depends on which part you want to use because even if it's just one you do have you know you can choose where you want to 
um, stencil from really to add your color okay so I was able to I did these two out of that one this one like geometric design you know really different and I did this design with it I just used different um, uh, oxide inks and I just kind of did, did a little bit of a spritz with water you know kind of like for um, a watermark looking kind of background so that's one <coughs> this one this is really pretty this is bees uh, the background with this one again I had to struggle a little bit because this had no numbers on them or no guide so what I did was I numbered them myself after I was able to figure out what went where so I was able to get that done um, and then I use like gel pens. If I don't, know if you can see, it has a little shimmer to it. I use gel pens in different places kind of to give it a little extra lift, but that was this one. Then I had this one as well. This is the, uh, end result this way, I think. Well, it was kind of going any which way, to be honest. But this is also one I did. I used gel pens just to kind of, you know, um, define the edges of uh, the, the leaves pretty much and the flowers. And again, I labeled those because um, it didn't come with numbers and I wasn't sure how to lay them. So I just kind of put the numbers on the end so that I can have that. Now... I've got the, these here. I haven't used them yet, but again, you know, I'll be doing some backgrounds with those. I would imagine you can be experimental. These are also Christmas trees that um, I'm going to be utilizing to do some backgrounds. And this is like a water, like a beach water kind of look. I haven't used that yet either, but this is something I hope to you know work with and of course these are just like circles so you can do um what, what they call it brocade i forgot what they call it but you know you can use it to do that if you want to so this is pretty much it i just wanted you guys to see just a few things and um i will definitely be making cards out of those and you know adding things to them and things of that nature and that's it so guys thank you so much for watching and i shall see you guys anytime um if you have the notification bell set i will be just posting randomly once i get a chance i'll be posting so thank you guys for watching and i shall see you guys later